He's one of the only athletes in history to play at the Division I level in one sport and then turn pro in another. Manny Hendricks was a four-year starter for the running youth basketball team before the Dallas Cowboys came calling. Sammy Linebaugh has his story, including the work he does now to help other student-athletes succeed on and off the playing field. To hear Manny Hendricks tell it, one day he was in the basketball gym, the next, the NFL's Tom Landry had invited him to Cowboys camp. Dallas had a history of doing things like that. Coach Landry always wanted great athletes. Hendricks had captained the youth basketball team his junior and senior seasons, hit the legendary shot. That boosted Utah over Wyoming in the WAC tournament. Dallas uh, came out, uh, a guy by the name of Charlie Mackey, who was a scout, said, hey, you know what, we're having test days right before the draft in April. Uh, would you run times with all the guys from the football team, Earl Tucker and all those guys? And so I went out, and those guys were running the 40-yard dash, and I jumped in there, and I ran a faster time than everyone that was there. And they was like, wow. You know, I went, and we went to the, do the strength test that they give all the uh, uh, potential draft picks, football players, and I couldn't get 225 one time. I couldn't lift it one time, so I thought maybe my chances were, were slim. Well, he got the invite to try out in Dallas. Football came naturally. Growing up in Phoenix, he'd been a high school star. And in the first preseason game that fall of 1986 against the Super Bowl champion Bears, Coach Landry called his name. I got in the game. And when I got in the game, I, I was starstruck, you know, because you got Jim McMahon, you got Walter Payton, you have all these guys who you've been watching on TV. And I'm in the game. And I remember uh, it was a guy on, on uh, Chicago Bears named Glenn Kowslowski, who's played at BYU. And uh, he came out, and they had beat us, I think, 26 to nothing. But it, it was the game was over. They put me in the game in the third, fourth quarter. And Glenn Kowslowski ran this route on me. And Jim Harbaugh was in, was in that quarterback at the time. He threw this pass, and it wasn't nothing spectacular. I just knocked the ball down. That moment, Hendricks says, set his career path. I, I kind of say because of that pass, that, that play against Glenn Kowalski was was probably why I made the team. And uh, ironically, when we got when I got in the league, we played against St. Louis, and my first tackle was against. Uh, Vistick and him, another guy from BYU. So I love guys from BYU. I just feel like, you know, since I arrived in basketball, I just always, you know, competitive against guys like that. Fast forward more than 15 years and Manny Hendricks would return to Salt Lake. After a successful NFL career, in 1994 he brought his young family back to Salt Lake and proposed an idea to athletic director Chris Hill. I've always uh, enjoyed working um, the experience I had here and, and and I've always felt when I was here I've, I, I always felt like the athletic department should have someone that uh, that's of authority but not necessarily in authority with the student athletes someone that they could maybe talk to and help make those adjustments that's not a coach why you not playing no basketball somewhere man Sometimes I go in there and vent. You know, sometimes you can't vent to the coaches, but you know, you vent with him and uh, confide, confide in him with some uh, personal things. And you know, he always had uh, each student athlete's uh, best interests at heart. Former running youth captain Johnny Bryant is one of many student athletes who say Hendricks helped them navigate the demands of D1 sports. I need somebody in my face. <laughs> hey. And carve out a post-college plan. I remember when. Um, when he took a job to go play overseas professional basketball. We probably talked once a week, and there was times that I, he was saying, hey, you know, I love basketball, but I really want to get into the corporate America. I want to move on with my life. I want to do that, and I want to open up this academy. He built it up from long range as a youth, and now he wants to impart some of his wisdom. That's exactly what Bryant's done with Hendricks as a sounding board. The Bryant Sports Academy is growing fast as a year-round youth basketball training program. Hendricks doesn't take the credit, but he says Bryant's entrepreneurism is an important example of the education-first mindset that is central to the university's culture. You'll probably find, probably, I would say 50% of the black athletes who come here probably end up staying. Uh, after they graduate just because of opportunities that present themselves. Opportunities that he says affect the university's image across ethnic lines. No place more than recruiting. That's what America is, you know, this melting pot and, and coming in and, and melting together and, 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 and accomplishing a certain goal. So it, it's, it's not 
I'm not surprised when the football team have so many guys in the NFL, when the when basketball team got guys in the NBA, because guys know black, white, or Polynesian, I can come here, come here and not only just play at the highest level, but I can get, I can get to the pros from here. In January, Hendricks was promoted to assistant athletic director over Major Giss. He's been an extraordinary liaison for the student athletes and the larger community. He's a, a bridge, a bridge across generations, uh, genders, uh, ethnic uh, background. He's just been a wonderful ambassador for the University of Utah athletic program. Looking back, he's never forgotten his freshman season when he first wore the Ute uniform. I was amazed when this community received and accepted a young, you know, 17-year-old kid from inner city of Phoenix and made me feel welcome, you know, and I'd never seen so many people excited about me playing basketball. Let's go home. Right. First impression, he's committed to paying forward. At the Huntsman Center, Sammy Leinbach for the Mountain.